powerful little book, um, Open Heart. I couldn't believe that you were still questioning that. But uh, when we were in Poland, I remember you said that the souls who perished at Auschwitz were still there, that they listen. Do you think that the ground speak, it carries its own energy here? It has the voices of the dead, do you think? I think the souls are here. I think that they listen, they cry, they warn. Look, this is the largest cemetery in recorded history. And what do you see? Nothing. Nothing. But uh, the cemetery is in our heart. You know, I have in my pocket the picture of my little sister which I've never spoken about, not even with you. The only time I cry, it's not when I speak about my parents, but I speak about my little sister. Mm -hmm. and there, that she makes me cry. How old was she? Seven. She was seven. He is the author of more than 30 books, including his unforgettable international bestseller, Night and a Beggar in Jerusalem, which won a number of prizes. He has been awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the United States Congressional Gold Medal, the French Legion of Honor, and in 1986, the Nobel Peace Prize. He is the Andrew W. Mellon Professor of the Humanities and University Professor at Boston University. He lives with his wife, Marion, in New York City. He is much more than his biography, much more than his prizes. He is much more than what he writes. He is, for so many people, the one who gives testament and testimony uh, to those who have, who have died and who demands memory of those who were victims of the Holocaust and who is the voice of the survivor.